Okay, so today's Sunday Select is going to be a dupe video of MAC lipsticks in Rimmel, ELF and NYX. And I tried to choose these brands because they are affordable and at the same time the lipsticks that I am featuring in this video are amazing quality, very nice pigmentation and I think they are a bargain to buy if you don't want to spend that extra much on MAC lipsticks. We are going to talk about all of these swatches today and I hope you enjoy watching this video. Please let me know if you want to see more new videos on my channel and I can do them. I've uploaded a video last week which is a high-end palette dupes in Makeup Revolution and you could check that out of course if you want I'll leave it down in the description box. Description box you stupid me of course anyway i hope you enjoy watching this video and yes let's start actually i do not own any mac lipstick except for this one russian red and the other one is called mac red which is yeah it's a red shade but not very interesting i would guess that most of you would know what russian red by mac looks like it is a very true deep red matte lipstick but it is not as matte as ruby and it is really comfortable to be worn on the lips and it looks like that and the dupe for this one is from the rimmel moisture renew range which i absolutely love and the one i have is called diva red and it looks like that so side by side they look like that the color is absolutely very very close this is russian red and this is the rimmel diva red and it is number 500 and because we are are still with the Rimmel Moisture Renew range I am going to show you the other one that I have which is the Rimmel Moisture Renew and the shade is Spotlight Beige I would say that if you are a fan of MAC Fanfare lipstick which is a cream sheen finish I think you will love Spotlight Beige by Rimmel because the color is amazing and the formula I think is better than the MAC Cream Sheen which is a bit sheer but anyway if you are a fan of lighter nude shades i think the other shade by rimmel as well would be perfect for you and this one is called notting hill nude so side by side this is notting hill nude and this is spotlight beige you could see that this one is a bit lighter this one is spotlight beige and this one is notting hill nude and if you are wondering what mac lipstick is duped here it is mac blankety on my lips i have notting hill nude today and i paired it with a bit of a rosy toned lip liner which is pale still not very dark so the lipstick stays the same color that it is another lipstick from rimmel which is from the kate moss collection of course i adore the packaging it is amazing and this shade which is shade 8 is a very very beautiful mauve rosy shade so this is shade 8 by rimmel in the lasting finish from kate and this one is a dupe for mac fast play actually it is a very very close dupe you can't even tell the difference on the lip fast play is an amplified cream lipstick which makes it very rich and very long lasting and this one by rimmel which is from the lasting finish collection is absolutely truly long lasting so to wrap up on rimmel instead of mac russian red you could get diva red by rimmel from the moisture renew collection and from the same range spotlight beige is a dupe for fanfare in mac notting hill nude is a dupe for blankety and the last one the lasting finish lipstick by k is a dupe for mac fast play so now we are done with rimmel and i'm going to move to the other brand which is elf and I chose to start with the Mineral Lipstick by Elf. This is because I absolutely love this formula of lipstick. It's very comfortable, very rich in color, very long lasting. I'm going to start with this shade, which is Rosy Raisin. And I chose to start with this one because this is also a dupe for MAC Blankety. And the shade is actually very similar to the Notting Hill Nude by Rimmel. So as you could see, this is the Elf Rosy Raisin and this is Rimmel Notting Hill Nude. And if you also look at the shade, it looks very similar of course the formula is great the shade is a very nice nude so yes i would recommend that as a dupe for blankety and the other shade by elf is this very very light nude pinky shade which is called runway pink and this is an exact exact dupe for mac cream cup lipstick cream cup by mac is an amplified cream lipstick and this one by e.l.f. is very creamy, very long lasting and very rich in pigment. So this is Runway Pink by e.l.f. which is pinker than Rosy Raisin 
and Notting Hill nude. So if you love yourself a very pale nude shade with a pinky undertone, I think you'll love this one. And now moving to the other mineral lipstick by e.l.f. which is called Rosy Tan. So this is how Rosy Tan looks like. As you could see from the swatch, Rosy Tan is here and this is perfect for someone who has medium skin tone. Lighter skin toned girls could use this as a Kylie Jenner style lipstick because it would look darker than their skin tone but still very very beautiful. And now to my absolute favorite mineral lipstick by e.l.f. and this one is called Ripe Rose. Ripe Rose is the absolute masala lip color for the year 2014 and it is a very nice Kylie Jenner lipstick if you have a medium skin tone and if you have a dark skin tone you will love this lipstick and if you are wondering what dupe is this in MAC it is a dupe for two lipsticks actually the first one is called Brick Ola which is an amplified cream finish which makes it very rich in pigment and it is also a dupe for another shade by MAC but it is from the satin range and it is called Retro so MAC lipsticks of course so many of them are similar in shade but the difference between them is the finish this ripe rose is very close in formula to the Brick Ola which is the amplified cream finish but in color it's also very very similar to Retro by MAC Retro and Brick Ola are the same color of course this has been very well loved and I'm very eager to buy a backup of this actually Rosy Raisin, Runway Pink, Rosy Tan and Ripe Rose now I'm moving to another range by e.l.f. which is the moisturizing lipstick range and if you don't know the packaging it looks like that it is matte and I think this is not plastic I'm not sure and I've always wondered why they call these moisturizing lipsticks I think these could be best described as having satin finish and I'm going to start with the palest shade this is a very very pale nude shade so if you are someone who is a fan of absolutely absolutely light nude shades i think you'll love this one this is called party in the buff this is a very pale peachy nude shade and this is an exact dupe for mac sweet and sour sweet and sour is a cream sheen finish which makes it very very similar to this formula in elf moisturizing lipsticks so yes if you want to do sweet and sour by mac go for party in the buff by elf moisturizing lipstick this other one is called pink minx and this is a very beautiful shade actually this is a dupe for a very very popular shade by mac which is called chatterbox this is the example of the perfect pink shade this is very neutral it is medium in shade, it is not very light and I think that Chatterbox by MAC is actually very popular due to this fact and Chatterbox is an amplified cream finish which is very similar to this moisturizing lipstick by ELF but I think the amplified cream finish by MAC is a bit more pigmented than this but this is still very buildable and I think you will love this pink minx color if you are a fan of bright pink lipsticks and if you particularly love girl about town by MAC I think you should go for this shade which is called rosy go round girl about town by MAC is a very bright pink shade and I think this one is very very similar to it Girl About Town is an amplified cream finish this one is a moisturizing finish again very similar and the last one from this range is also a very popular shade by MAC and I will let you guess I personally remember Lady Danger which is from MAC's MAC collection shade is just the same but I think Lady Danger might be a bit more pigmented from one swipe you would have to build this up but the color is just the same and something to say about these moisturizing lipsticks by e.l.f. is that some of them are more satin some of them are more creamy and moisturizing if you know what I'm saying and Velvet Drop which is the dupe for MAC Lady Danger is more satin than creamy and the last lipsticks that I have with me here are from NYX round collection and this is very affordable and they have countless colors we are going nude again and I'm going to start by this one which is called Cersei Cersei is a very grayish toned pale nude and actually I can't wear this on its own I have to wear it on top of other lipsticks I'm not sure if you could see from the swatch that this is really very very a grayish cool toned beige and this is a dupe for the MAC Viva Glam lipstick and because Viva Glam by MAC is a limited edition if you also like this kind of shade MAC flesh pot is still very similar to this and I think you could wear either this or that and no one would be able to tell the difference and the second one I have is a peachy nude shade 
very beautiful and very attractive very summer like and this one is called pumpkin pie and i'm not sure if you could see this is pumpkin pie and i want to say something that these swatches on the arm would look lighter on the lips so bear that in mind and this is max peach stock dupe peach stock is a satin finish while this one is more creamy close to the amplified cream finish by mac the shade however is absolutely the same and the last one the last lipstick i saved it till the end because oh, i love myself some bright pink lipstick and this one is called hot pink and this is from the round lipstick range by nyx as well and this beautiful baby is a dupe for mac pink pigeon pink pigeon is more of a matte this one is more creamy like the amplified cream finish and the color is amazing i'm going to show you the swatch a very cool tone the bright pink now i have a task of removing all of these swatches from my arm although they look so beautiful i think i might take a picture and upload it on instagram anyway i hope this was helpful for you i tried to choose some shades but many of them turned out to be nude or neutral but i think this is good because many many people would feel more comfortable wearing these neutral natural colored lipsticks and i tried to choose some very light nudes some medium and some dark nudes for people with different skin tones and with different preferences when it comes to wearing their nude lipstick of course as usual i hope you enjoyed spending time with me please please leave me comments this means the world to me like this video and subscribe if you found this video helpful and if you want to see more videos on my channel and i'll see you again very very soon until then please be safe and have a lovely weekend bye